What's going on YouTube? Let me give you a, uh, a recap of what we talked about in the radio show. And if you didn't listen in, you missed something pretty good. Um, let me ask you a question. There's a lot of my subscribers right now that own a home, right? Now, which category do you fall in? Are you one that put zero down on a home and you got like a three, four hundred thousand dollar mortgage and you have this high mortgage payment? Or are you one of the ones that put 20% down on a home, your mortgage payment is, is okay, and you're like maybe putting extra payments, like maybe you're adding one extra payment a year, or you're paying bi-weekly, and you're trying to pay this thing off as soon as possible. Or, or you want to just came in and say, hey, I want to put 50% down on this home, and you've just been paying like crazy. You always pay extra every month. But here's the deal. You guys know which category you're in. But it's kind of stupid the way we pay for mortgages. One thing we talked about this is this. Your mortgage payment, 92% of your mortgage payment goes to the bank, goes to interest. And the other 8% goes toward the principal. So for those of you who pay their mortgage the same, whatever it is, every month, and you think, I got a good deal on my mortgage and blah, 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 I have a beautiful home, you're in prison. So let's say for this, let's say you have a two hundred thousand dollar home right now, right? I, if I came to you thirty years later, say, hey, how much did you pay for your home? If you tell me two hundred thousand dollars, you're sadly mistaken. No, let's say you got a six percent interest rate on your loan, which is high these days. Let's just say you got it. You actually paid four hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars. You see, here's the thing. Sometimes people live in, delu in delusion, like in business. If I had a business, which I do, and I bought a product from China for a dollar and twenty cents, and you ask me how much did you pay for the product, if I tell you a dollar twenty cents, I'm telling you something false, because I didn't add in the shipping, the custom price, all these other things that I have that have to put in the factor to that product to get the true price. So. A lot of us are walking around without the true price. But see, here's the power of the, uh, the mortgage when you get rid of it. Once you get rid of your mortgage, right? Let's just, just, just let me paint this picture. You get rid of your mortgage, okay? After you get rid of your mortgage, that same mortgage payment that you were paying yourself, what if you paid yourself that mortgage? You took that $1,200 or that $2,500 you were putting toward the mortgage, what if you took that $2,500 and you put that into a business that's going to put money back in your pocket? Because your strategy should be once you get into a mortgage is to pay that thing off as soon as possible. So you don't have to pay an extra $236,000. Doesn't sound like a good deal anymore. I got in for zero down at this price. I got a great deal. No, you're stupid. Not trying to hurt your feelings, but that's the case. A lot of people who lost their home and went into foreclosure are dumb people who didn't have the right knowledge of how to get into a mortgage the correct way. Those are the ones who were crying, the government did this, the government did that. No, 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 no. You were the dumb one. You were the one that went in and signed the paperwork and said, hey, I want to get a home because my friends would think I'm cool. $2,500, 92% going toward um the interest and you want to pay the minimum payment to the bank 30 years doesn't sound too bright to me doesn't sound like a great financial situation so like i was saying if you put twenty five hundred dollars a month toward a business and that twenty five hundred dollars a month or whatever it was brings you back forty five uh five thousand twelve thousand dollars a month that's money that's what you want to get to so for those of you who are in a mortgage, don't stay in prison. Don't serve a life sentence. Because some of you go past 30 years. Refinance. Got to put that extra tile in the, in the living area. <laughs> so you get, in more, you get in more of a prison sentence. So the message I'm trying to say today is be smart when it comes to finance. Don't just get something. Don't think like, well, I can get the computer. I can afford the monthly payments. You're thinking like a poor person. Pay cash money for that. So, that's all I want to say, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think I'm a dumb guy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's talk about it. And if this is you, try to change the situation. So, 
until next time guys signing off